All right, we're going to try some more advanced things in 118 part two. So last time, I'm just going to mess around with some things. Maybe you want to try them. The last time we made this, we had turtles, top, bottom. And then when they're supposed to go forward and when they collide, they stop, right? So I had this basic thing. There I go. And that's, that's kind of what you have to do when you get to about this part. You see the solutions right here, all the secrets. They tell you there. I mean, my code's not a secret. I did it slightly different than them. Whatever. So let's, let's try a few other things. I mean, neat things if you want to play around with this. So, you know, if they're both going the same speed, let's say eight and eight, you know, they collide in together and they kind of do it in a straight line because they're all going like a uniform pace. But what if you made this one four and the other one eight? What happens? I could do more steps too and make them smaller steps. So this is not going to go even. So, oh. Yeah, so only those three cla uh, clashed. That's kind of cool. Okay, that was kind of even. What if you did that as five and eight? Looks like. So yeah, you can mess around with that if you want to see it behave differently and different ones might crash or not crash. Cool. All right, so a few other things you can do. Make it faster and slower turtles. Hey, that's how you make them faster and slower. And need to slow down. Um, they cover more ground faster. Change your code so they do not go off screen. Okay, so if I do that, it says don't go off screen. I do that, or maybe I don't care. That's one way I could speed them up or slow them down just by changing these numbers right here on how much it moves forward every time. Uh, another Things you might want to look at if you wanted to go fewer or more steps. Maybe I make this one two and make this one three. I'm just going to do like 100 steps. See what happens? I don't know. Am I worried if they go off screen? I don't care if they go off screen. Why? At least not for now. They're just going forward now, but let's, let's play with things. That's a good thing. Like what if they hit to the edge of the screen? What do you want them to do? Do you want them to stop? Maybe you want them to stop. Yeah. Maybe, or maybe you want them to go backwards. Yeah. Maybe you want to keep bouncing back and forth. Yeah. So, let's try that. Okay, so I'm getting some requests. Let's make it go back and forth. So what are you going to have to do to solve that? Well, you're going to have to know. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. So getting suggestions from chat to when they get to this edge, put some negative values on whatever we're going Whatever makes them move forward, basically just negate that or make it opposite. You go the other way. That's, yeah. Uh, one of the challenges is where's the edge? How do I determine what the edge is? I don't think I have a function that says, oh, it hits the edge. So that's, yeah. We got to figure out what that edge is, huh? That's the problem. So of this screen, I don't know. I know it starts at uh, 350 when it's doing this. For, this is at 350 up here. I'm guessing this edge is, I'm guessing it's 400 in every direction. That's my gut feeling it's 400. So I'm going to say this coordinate, and if I'm, I'm actually doing this, why not? Oh, I'm doing, I can do this because I'm in Zoom at the same time. I'm going to guess. So if you're like an axis right here, I draw these. That's about zero. I'm just eyeballing this. That's about zero. I want to know what the edges are. So I'm going to guess, is this 400? Now, what's my lazy way of figuring this out? If, okay. Did those all hit each other? Yeah. So I know it's going to go forward 100 steps. So, okay, if this is going 100 steps and it goes four picks, 
four times a step. If there's one of these horizontal ones that makes it to the end, let's say blue, when blue stops, oh, it kept going. Uh, and it, well, it didn't actually start right here because it started like almost at the edge. I'm going to guess that's four. It started like right here. And then if I add it, okay, it started right here. That should have been at negative 350 for the horizontal ones. And then I kept, I added 400 to that. Wait, no, no, no. That's, no, I was adding 400 to that. Why does that go to zero? Saying location zero, zero is like right over here. These are all negatives. Could be. Um, uh, okay, this is stupid right here, but I'm, I actually don't know where zero, zero is right now. So watch, I'm putting it at zero, zero. And all the vertical ones should just stay in the center. Oh, zero, zero is not on screen. What's going on? How, how come this ain't centered? Yeah, I, okay, because usually it's centered. But, like the center is zero, zero. Somehow this canvas got sent out so the center is not zero, zero. Okay. Well, let's try something else. I think it's zero. I think this one, let's go negative 50. See if we can get it. Uh, how do they make it? Like what in my code makes it not centered at zero, zero? That's what I don't get. So it started right here. So the ver zero is actually this line. I bet this is zero, zero, this corner. So if I go negative 10, negative 10. I don't, I don't know why, because usually they, like what did I do in this code to make it centered that way? I don't know. Wait, it didn't. Where did it go? No, negative ten, positive ten. So I, so I want it to go up a little bit, and it should go negative ten, up ten. So it should be up like in the corner that you barely see it. Where does this yellow start? Where I'm doing the horizontal ones. Negative. Oh, it starts at T-lock. T-lock starts at 50. Okay. So if that's 50. Yeah, this is probably 0, 0. Yeah, they're starting right here. Okay, I was right. I'm an idiot. That's 0, 0. And I'm guessing this is, so, my canvas. This would be negative 400. And this is 0. I'm guessing this is 0. And this is positive 400. And there's no origin in the middle for some reason. Okay, I figured out the coordinates. I'm going to put the code back to where it was. Cool. So let's say when the horizontal one... So here, here's the thing. When the horizontal one gets to zero, I want, to start, I want it to flip around, right? So after it moves, this is horizontal. I want to say... If uh, the x coordinate t dot x or is let's say it's um x core okay let's say it's greater than zero that means it's too big then I wanted to flip it around you know how to do that we can uh, rotate it around we just have to rotate it. Um, turn it to the left or right 180 degrees like you know the meme turn 100, 360 degrees around and go back 
but it's not really 360 degrees. So we can just go t dot right or left, go 180. This should flip it around. So let's do this. I'm gonna make it make big steps. See what happens. Come on. Come on, Replit, let's go. Okay, so it's going to take big steps here. Oh! But I kind of want it to bounce back sooner than that. I'm going to say negative... So it does it. Cool. Neat. Uh-oh. Then they kept going on forever. Because I needed to turn around. The other way. I can make an L if. I'm just going to make an... I should make it an elif. X core. So that's negative 400. Let's say it's less than negative 390. I want it to flip around again. I can, I can make it say right. I'm just going to use left. E dot left 180. Let's just keep going back and forth. Try that. Kind of cool. And you can also make it change colors if they run into each other. I know there was like a change it to gray if they run into it. I didn't care. Oh, and then it stops because it runs out of moves. Okay, cool. I should do the same for the vertical. So I go, I can just copy this code. If, but we're looking at Y cores. So if the Y core is less than N, I want it turn right 180. That means it's down here. I want it to right so it goes up. And if the Y core is greater than 390 and left. Okay, cool. Made this like uh, 11. Once you moves forward, that does. I just want them to have bigger moves. Hopefully, you don't run into. Huh. Funny how it takes a while for it to. Kind of cool. On this stopped. Now, you, if you want to, you can just make this keep going forever. In fact, what if I just wanted to keep going until they all run into one another? Instead of steps. Remember, one thing we can do, remember, whenever oh, they run into each other, we remove them from the list. Now, basically, we want to go while this, while the, um, they're going to get popped off the list. I'm going to say while the number of horizontal turtles, I want this size, this list to not be empty. So how do I do this? Now, the function, I think this works length of, and we haven't learned this yet. Well, it's greater than zero. That means while there's more than nothing in there, keep looping. So this should just keep going until they all run into each other. 
I'm not even using steps now. I don't know why they didn't use length. Why they didn't use length in the first place? Because they haven't taught it to you yet. Let's see. Cool things. See how long it takes. Make it keep track of steps. Hey, who can figure out step sizes where they'll never run into each other or that take the longest? Oh. Uh, maybe, maybe. Uh oh, got one. Make them speed up. Uh oh, uh, there we go. These last two shouldn't take less time. Takes a lot of time to spin around. Maybe? Oh. It's like watching the screensaver and trying to bounce in the corner. Oh. YouTube watchers just fast forward. Are you kidding me? Probably because the steps are so big, there's probably times when they just won't hit. Oh my. Hmm. We're going to sit here and watch. Have an ad break while this is going on. Not sponsored by John Smith subs, but. They're still good. Mm. So good. Don't need to hear me chew. Come on, mute. Okay, folks. I don't know if it can happen. I think there's something because they're, they're taking such big steps. I think these two are in a unique position where they just don't get close enough to ever actually touch. Because this is 11, this is 15. Eventually, they should get... They're not, like, divisible by each other. They should get close enough at some point. But maybe they don't. Oh, well. Stop it there. This is not possible. Okay. All right. 
Anything else I could do? Change the color, try to recover from a collision. Maybe if they, they hit each other, you can make it so that they're not off the list, they just go backwards. They go the opposite direction. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so let's... I, I wish I could have demonstrated them hitting, so... I want to make sure my program ends, though. Let's say if we just did this, they all go 15. I want to make sure it, it runs. It still end. Okay, it still ends. That's good. So what if instead, when they hit each other, I don't remove them from the list, uh, both turtles just go the opposite directions. So what I'm going to do is go... Uh, T, uh, H dot right 180 and V dot right 180. I just want them to keep bouncing back and forth and I don't remove them from the list. I'm just going to comment those out, not delete them entirely. Gonna be kind of weird. Oh, oh, they're going to keep hitting each other. Well, let's see what happens. I think the same ones will keep hitting each other all the time. So maybe if I made this one 25, let's just try this. I think that's way too fast. I don't know. I should make it like a prime number though. I hate when they're divisible by each other. Not looking for pattern, I'm looking for chaos. Yeah, it's sometimes gonna look like they hit each other when it's just because they move at different times. Okay, that's kind of cool. I wish it went faster though. I guess it could make the turtle speed faster. The program might go faster. I don't know. Well, there you go. Chaotic movements. Sometimes they collide. And you get all sorts of fun stuff. There you go, folks at home. I messed around with a few things. I didn't mess around with colors. Feeling good about that. That's it.